Hey Ellie, thanks for your trilogy video. It was pretty insightful actually. It's nice to hear your opinion. I have to apologise for the video quality. Um, my camera equipment has been moved to the new house, so I don't have any setup for a good looking video, unfortunately. And I don't have a good background yet. I'm getting round to it. So I'd like to uh, talk to you, if I may, about lies today. So. Uh, let's start off with what a lie is. There are three main parts to a lie. One, a lie is communicating information. Two, a lie is misleading or intentionally untruthful. Three, the liar doesn't believe the lie. Which raises the question, could a liar be wrapped up in his own life so much that he or she believes it's the truth, in which case they wouldn't be lying anymore because they'd think it's the truth. But that's a different video. So, why do people lie? Well, there's all sorts of reasons for this. The most popular, I think, is to protect others. This could be through a lie of omission, which is e.g. what they don't know won't hurt them. So it's purposely not saying something or missing out part of the truth, which conceals the whole truth. That's why in America, uh, courts say mm, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, because they want the whole truth and not just part of it. Another reason to lie would, to, would be to protect information. So again, that's a lie of omission. Um, purposely not giving the whole truth in case this spreads, rumours, that kind of thing, information leaks. It can be used to protect reputations. So say your co you boast to your co-workers, oh yeah, I did 500 court reports yesterday, and it makes you look good, but it's not true. So what kind of people lie? We have compulsive liars. Those are people who lie, not because they want to, but because they just they just do. It, it's unfortunate because they don't they don't know they're doing it. They don't want to do it. But narcissists, people who like themselves, they're like saying, "Oh yeah, well, I did 500 push-ups yesterday. I'm so good." So they're kind of the attention seekers, really. Um, making themselves look good. Histrionic people like to lie. Those are also attention seekers. They're the ones that kind of say, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. Those kind of people. The ones who go to the extremes and say stuff that they probably wouldn't do. They're mainly just doing it as a last resort kind of thing. Those are histrionic people. So, how could you spot a lie? Well, it, this is kind of hard because there's no surefire way of finding out if someone's lying. A lot of people say, well, he's fidgety, he must be lying. But that's not always the case because he might just be naturally fidgety. Somebody could be blinking a lot, but it doesn't mean that he's lying. He could just have a lash in his eye or something. Itching. It just it could just be that they're itching, they're just itchy. Lie machines are apparent, um, not very, not used very often now because it's been proven that, well, people, people's internal reactions change even when they're telling the truth, which is only supposed to happen when you're lying, apparently, but, so yeah, uh, everyone lies. It's supposed to apparently allegedly, takes up a quarter of our daily interactions, which I find quite a lot, a quarter, 25% of your daily reactions, but on some days you might be lying all over the place, and other days you might just be telling the truth, but there you go, hope you enjoyed, uh, I'll see you Sunday. Okay, bye.